Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys are reading the title. We're going to be talking about XRP. We got some breaking news at the same time. We're going to discuss what's really happening. So if you enjoy these updates, smash that like button as it does go a long way. But now let's get right into it. So if we're looking at the market, as we have discussed last night going into Tuesday morning, you know, we were seeing a little bit of a retracement across the board and that has been playing out still. You're still seeing the market seeing a little bit of a consolidation over the past few hours. If you're looking at XRP on the other hand, of course, it's also down right now, but holding quite uh, strong against the broader market because it's only down about 1.2% right now. Price is currently sitting at 53.24 cents, down 1.1% as mentioned in USD, but we're up about 0.3% in Bitcoin comparative. The market cap is above $30 billion again, and the 24-hour trading volume is back above a billion dollars, to be exact, $1.1 billion. But before we get into it, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So breaking news, Canary Capital files for spot XRP ETF. This announcement is coming out just over the last one hour, um, even less than an hour. And I think as you know, we start seeing this news spreading around, maybe, you know, XRP could start seeing some price action. And of course, you know, that appeal has set itself back a bit. Uh, but maybe this could ignite a little bit more, uh, you know, confidence. But in terms of, you know, the landscape switch, you know, if you follow the channel on a regular day to day basis, you could really see regulation is coming towards crypto in a very, very fast manner. Uh, but yeah, you know, if you look at this, you could see Canary Capital has officially filed an S1 with the SEC government for an XRP ETF. Canary is new crypto investment firm launched by Valerie Fund's founder, Stephen McClurk. We're seeing encouraging signs of more progressively regulatory environment coupled with growing demand from investors for sophisticated access to cryptocurrencies beyond Bitcoin and Ethereum, specifically investors seeking access to enterprise-grade blockchain solutions and their native tokens such as XRP, a spokesperson from Canary tells. And this is, uh, you know, what we've been uh, discussing from the beginning, right? Of course, you know, the... Uh, ground bay breaking thing was that you know you do see the likes of the big boys ethereum and bitcoin get that um you know etf that was long awaited and we finally saw that happening but remember i've been emphasizing this so much if you follow the channel on a regular basis i've said do you think these investors are only going to be okay with these two uh, etfs they want more exposure in this emerging space uh they want to see more uh assets um that they can access and you know it does not come as a surprise that we're seeing the XRP um, ETF filing once again. Now, obviously, if this were to be approved, I think you know XRP, you know, potentially could start seeing some crazy price action. Of course, you know the lawsuit portion still is something that a lot of investors are kind of you know iffy about, um, and that is you know totally okay because you know the lawsuit is kind of frustrating. You know, kind of deters investors uh, to look somewhere else, and you know that is something we've been discussing from the beginning. But you know what you're looking at Ripple doing over the course of the last you know 12 months. The developments that were coming out, and especially now that you know stable coin, the RLUSD is near, I think that can actually have a positive impact on the entire ecosystem. But let me know down below what you guys think about this, um, and what are your projections? Uh, did SEC, you know? send out an appeal on purpose because of course there's a lot of questions being asked uh, to the SEC and speaking about the SEC you can see crypto.com files a lawsuit against the SEC to protect the future of crypto in the US very very interesting and you know some people from the XRP community might see this as a you know very very bullish thing uh, that you know you're seeing the likes of these big centralized exchanges going after the SEC because we know SEC has been coming uh, towards a lot of crypto projects. Uh, but you know, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And you know, if you're looking at the price of XRP right now, it has been uh, you know performing quite well. Um, I will get the trial later. I don't need this right now. But anyhow. You could see in a recent press junket, Ripple partner Qatar National Bank called out RippleNet used for cross-border remittances as a part of their award-winning approach. Amazing.
This is amazing. And you can see, you know, J XRP response. This technology has so much potential. That's why I don't understand why the SEC is fighting so hard. Maybe they see a bigger problem. Uh, there is uh, that, um, you know, maybe there's a big threat to the current system and they don't want that happening. So again, um, you know, decentralization is very important. Obviously, we know centralization is where, you know, other entities have control. And this is where decentralization comes and changes the game. So, you know, very, very interesting things. And of course, shout out to our friend Smoke for posting this. Uh, Juniper Research also ranked Ripple as the top CBDC technology provider among a field of 15, which included notable names like R3, Stellar, and MasterCard. Ripple equals number one for CBDCs and cross-border payments. And we know like late last year, or even last year, 2023, since 2023, we've been hearing about CBDCs, uh, you know, launching and, you know, the likes of uh, the big boys now coming in, such as BlackRock talking about tokenization. Um, and, you know, speaking about tokenization, I've been, um, you know, quite clear about my personal opinion. Um, you know, there's no better platform, in my opinion, than the XRPL Ledger uh, to launch, you know, these uh, tokenized assets. Uh, if you think there is a better one, let me know in the comments down below, because I would love to uh, kind of have a comparison between uh, the two. But very, very big stuff coming out. Do let me know in the comments what you guys think about this, uh, you know, uh, filing of the ETF. Do you think this is going to have a positive impact on the price? Specifically speaking about the price right now, if you're looking at Bitcoin, you can see Bitcoin is sitting at $62,433. So we actually did wake up to $63,200 just a few hours ago, but never managed to you know, get our wick back above that 64K range. A very, very important level as we know. If you're looking at the price of XRP, has seen a little bit of an uptick. You know, which is very interesting to see. Um, you know, a lot of people, you know, continuously focus on you know XRP, uh, you know, appeal that we have heard from the SEC. But you cannot be forgetting the other things that are happening. You know, we're actually seeing you know a global land um, land shift. You know, a global global shift that's occurring. And you know, we're seeing blockchain technology being spoken about. You know, more than ever. And um, you know, could XRP actually you know make its way up to the likes of fifty eight cents key resistance? Even even though this appeal has, um, you know, taken place. In my opinion, I've stated this before, I think, you know, if it's able to do that, that would be a big statement that would show that maybe, you know, investors are, you know, deterring away from, you know, the uh, SEC lawsuit saying that, hey, you know what, there's other things that are happening that are quite bullish, uh, you know, rather than, you know, looking at this lawsuit that has been absolute BS at this point in terms of, you know, being dragged for this long. You know, the, that's why I think it's, uh, you know, BS because of the fact that it has been dragged for such a long time. And, you know, SEC's main uh, focus is that, you know, uh, they don't want investors, uh, you know, being impacted and they want the investors' interest. But what about this? You know, people that were uh, holding onto the native token and, of course, you know, people do their due diligence. People have uh, digital assets in their portfolio and just based off of the XRP native token, um, you know, it dropped just based off of their announcement about 23.7%. And of course, you know, people can come out and make the statement that you know, this is a digital asset, which is completely true and digital assets volatile, of course. And, you know, those are some good statements to be making, but you know, there's a lot of other things that just don't add up. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this uh, announcement. And do you think this is going to have a positive impact on the price of XRP? And what excites you the most about XRP? Love each and every one of you guys. We'll see you tomorrow in CryptoZX and peace out. Out.